Hello and welcome dear learners. Today we are going to study how to design lesson plan for English poetry. And here it is on your screen. Hello and welcome friends. This is the lesson plan of English poetry on your screen. It starts with date, class, section, period, time, subject and topic. These we have already discussed in our previous lesson plans. But here I would like to uh, mention this subject. I have mentioned English and then in bracket I have written poem because today we are going to teach them about English poetry and here also I have defined the topic my dear soldier so today students are learning a poem based on soldier well the another point is name of the school this is the name of that particular school you will be assigned to teach in and the general aims general aims are all about long term aims and they are decided for a longer period of time this we have already discussed in previous lectures and previous lesson plans but in this case they are a bit different from those we have discussed in lesson plan of composition and grammar so let's read them to enable the students to appreciate the beauty rhyme and the style of the poem to enable them to read aloud the poem to enable the students to enjoy recitation because poem is always recited to make students to understand thought and imagination contained in the poem to train the emotions of the students to develop their aesthetic sense so i have written six general aims there may be more than six you have to find them out well let's discuss about specific objectives and these again are four i have written it down there on the screen knowledge the students will be able to define the gist of the poem that is summary of the poem or conclusion of the poem understanding the students will understand the central idea of the poem here you need to understand that every single poem has a central idea and we have to identify what the central idea is so that students must understand application part the students will be able to find difficult words and their meanings and its application in spoken and written language there are many words variety of words used in english poem students have to find them out and use them for their own language fourth is analysis the students will be able to critically analyze the poem now let's skip to the another point that is material aid used this we have already discussed these all are the things that we use as uh, accessories or supplement to our teaching and these are pictures chart ruler board chalk duster and other classroom equipments well the next point is previous knowledge the students have general idea and knowledge about soldiers here you need to understand one thing that if we are teaching about soldier then students must have fundamental knowledge about soldiers that is why poem on soldier is included in this part of your book now let's come to the introductory questions and here we try to take the knowledge out to the surface or we try to uh, we try to connect new idea with the old idea that is within the child we'll start asking questions from the picture that you see on the extreme right hand side of this table so the question goes what do you see in this picture the answer will come out i see a soldier in this picture this is what students have to reply what is hanging on his shoulders now students are very crazy to answer they will shout yes sir that is gun or uh, you know all the class will shout it is all about gun this is we have seen it or we have soldiers carrying guns and so and so on what is the job of soldier now they very well know that what is the job of soldier because they have seen them the job of soldier is to secure our country this is what is expected from student what do you think how difficult is their job now they know that they are doing their job to secure our country or to uh, to provide safety to our citizens but they don't know what difficulties actually they are facing and this is what is mentioned in the in this particular poem so here you will uh, you will come with various answers from students so i have written various answers over here problematic question this is this is generally a problematic because you will have many answers to this question now there is announcement of the topic at the bottom of this page that is 
today we shall recite the poem my dear soldiers well let's come to the another part that is about presentation presentation starts with first model recitation this is our first teaching point as you can see a colored part below this line first model recitation this is actually a piece of paper in which you will write the lines of poem now the next point is expected behavioral outcomes so what students are expected to do the students will be able to pay attention and develop listening skills here we need to understand that while teaching we are focusing in all types of skills so listening is also a kind of a skill in language development so what students are doing here students are attentively listening to the teacher so there there must be correct pronunciation of each and every word in the poem because students are listening to the teacher in teaching learning process what pupil teacher activity that is teachers activity is the pupil teacher will recite the whole poem with proper exposition modulation of voice rhyme and rhythm this is all about the pronunciation part so you must understand that you speak and the student follow it so the way you speak the student will follow in the similar manner so if you are wrong somewhere you have to take it you have to take it seriously you should not be wrong in your pronunciation let's skip to another point that is students activity student students will listen attentively with their books closed oh my god this is something crazy you know why books are closed because here they have to completely depend on their ears so whatever they listen they will speak that is why i am saying that you have to be very serious in this part because whatever students hear from your mouth will directly go into their heads well the another part is another column is teaching methods or aids here you are using textbook so you will write textbook over here now let's come to another point that is gist of the poem this is about conclusion of the poem or the central idea of the poem the student will be able to develop the skill of understanding while you are explaining you are under, you are making them understand the things written in the poem now what pupil teacher activity will be here the pupil teacher will explain the gist of the poem here you have to explain the gist of the poem or the summary of the poem or conclusion of the poem what is students will be doing here the students will listen attentively to the teacher at this time also their books are closed they are not open and what methods you are using visual aids because in previous part we have you know we have hanged out a picture of soldier they are continuously watching the picture of that soldier they are watching the gun after visualizing that picture the world of imagination starts for students so that is why i have written visual aids over here that means that picture should be hang till the end of this poem well let's skip to another part that is third teaching mod uh, third teaching point second model recitation yeah what is expected from students the expected behavioral outcome is that students will be able to recognize comprehend and recall the poem and what pupil teacher is doing the pupil teacher will recite the poem second time students will open their book and listen carefully this time they have open their book that means whatever they have listened previously in first model recitation they will now verify it that means they have to listen and they have to check it out also what type of words are written there okay well in second recitation the books will get open and here the teaching aids or material you are using is text book now fourth and very important point it is about exposition of new words so here the new words or the you know the unknown words for students will be exposed so students will be able to enrich their vocabulary because here we are focusing on vocabulary part and tell the meaning of difficult words so here are your difficult words the pupil teacher will write difficult words on the blackboard 
and derive their meaning from the students. Now this is very crazy part in this lesson plan. You have to derive the meaning of difficult words. You don't have to just go and write the word meaning over there on the board, but you have to derive them. This is where you use different techniques to expose these words. So how you are going to do that? Let's begin. The first word written on the blackboard will be prime because this is the first word, the first difficult word that you have identified and as you identify it you write it on the board but this should be after you finish your second model recitation don't write these words while reciting the poem the first word is prime now you have to expose the meaning of prime but how you will expose you don't have to write meaning over there the meaning should be derived from students so what you are going to do is you are going to tell them about the antonym in this particular word. So the antonym to this particular word is minor. Oh well, minor is small. And now you have to tell the students what is the opposite of minor. And for your surprise, they will be able to answer because they know the word minor. And opposite to that word is major. And they will answer perfectly. Now let's do with surveillance. Now this is completely a new word for them. And surveillance, what I have written here is use in sentence. Camera is used for surveillance. Well, second word is surveillance. And this is a very new word for students. And I have written in bracket use in sentence. Well, how will you use this word in sentence? I have framed the sentence over here. Camera is used for surveillance. Now, again, camera and surveillance. You can use CCTV is used for surveillance. If they know about CCTV, they should know about surveillance. And you will ask for what purpose we use CCTVs. So they will give up the answer. You don't have to write the meaning over there in the blackboard, but they will give the answers themselves. They know the meaning, but they actually know, they don't know this word. So you have to derive it from students. Well, the third word is sweltering. And for that, I have used flashcard. Can you see a card over here? This is actually a flashcard. There is a picture of man who is sweltering. He has taken out his tongue. And you can see the hot sun over his head. And with the idea of this picture, Immediately it comes to their mind. Oh, it's about it's about sweating. It's about very hot And immediately they will say sir. It is very hot. Oh ma'am. It is very hot Yes, the answer is heat unbearable So the answer will come out from the student itself So this is how you have to expose the meaning of difficult words well Let's skip to another part. Point number five, it is about loud reading. So loud reading, the students will be able to develop reciting ability with concentration on rhyme and rhythm. For this purpose only, we are using loud reading so that students would develop their rhythm and rhyme. So that students would develop reciting ability of a poem. Well, what the pupil teacher is doing here, Pupil teacher will give instruction to recite the poem with proper rhyme and rhythm. So these instructions has to be has to be given by the teacher. The students will read the poem loudly one by one. This is what students had to do. So you are instructing them to read the poem and the student will read the poem loudly one by one. So you have to give chance to students randomly and they will stand up and they will read the poem aloud and the, uh, the teaching material used here is textbook now the sixth teaching point is comprehensive question now the student will able to develop the comprehensive ability this is what is expected from a student that he will develop comprehensive ability he will understand the things the pupil teacher will ask the question about the poem what pupil teacher is going to do he is going to ask the question about poem and I have written this poem in evaluation part the last column of this table well 
question and answer method this is socratic method we are using we are questioning and the students will be answering why does poet call soldier as a brave man this is the question that has been framed from the text itself so don't go out of the text the another uh, teaching point is chorus recitation here what students are expected to do the students will be able to appreciate the feelings of the poem the pupil teacher will ask all students to recite the poem in proper rhythm and intonation so chorus recitation is like uh, uh, all all the students will uh, read the poem together in proper rhyme and rhythm this is chorus recitation and the students will recite the poem because poem is always written in aesthetic sense to enjoy its beauty or whatever the content is over there now what students will do the students will recite the poem with enthusiasm and feel the aesthetic beauty of the poem this is why the poems are included in english subject what aids we are using here it is textbook and there is no question in evaluation part finally we have come to blackboard summary uh this is a piece of paper in your lesson plan a black chart paper on which you will write with silver pen this is just like actual blackboard so you have to fill entries on the top date class section period time subject topic and you have to write the word on one hand and meaning on the other hand so there is nothing else written on the blackboard except these word and meanings well uh we have skipped to another point that is classroom supervision here again the pupil teacher will ask students to write the words written on the board and he himself will make a round in class and uh supervise whether students are writing or not here is a recapitulation this is actually a question you can write it here or you can write this question in evaluation part after the last teaching point chorus recitation finally the teacher will assign homework short answer questions and some fill in the blanks or mcqs whatever and do not forget to mention the reference book at last thank you so much well this is how we design our lesson plans in english poetry you can also frame your own lesson plans using similar strategy thank you so much for watching this video